Section 7, Detail of Transaction. Uh, I can explain what it is in here, but basically that uh, no loan, loan officer can really complete this. Uh, uh, all this number here is it populate from the good faith estimate. So by the time you get to this page, you would go to good faith estimate. You can complete a good faith estimate and all the numbers you put on a good faith estimate will populate to this page here. So let's just go through that. You can see uh, uh, the line from the top to the bottom is a purchase price. And the second number you have is estimate prepay item, uh, uh, estimate closing cost, and then you total uh, the, the purchase price with, uh, with the prepay and closing cost, you come up with a number. The cash deposit is 5,000 in this case. So that way, if you deposit 5,000 right now, they will cash a check. So that way you have 5,000 less as far as, you know, work out a number. And then how much is the loan amount? The loan amount is 360. So if you, take, if you take the total amount minus 5,000 minus loan amount, that's what they need to bring to the table, which is 97,162.50. And that's what, that's what it is. So this is the kind of number, this kind of thing that the loan officer got to be very good. Because the bottom line is that you know, a lot of clients, they call me and say, okay, okay, you know, your loan's great. Whatever you do is great. But let, let, tell me how much I need to bring to the table. That is the number that you tell them, which is P, cash from borrower. That's important. That is the end of Section 7, Detail of Transaction.